Hi there and welcome to LEGO Star Wars 75255 Yoda review. We'll start with the box. On the front it has a picture of the Republic background which wasn't the best thing because I reckon they could have gone with the Genosin where Yoda's in that pose from the Count Dooku fight or from episode 3 where he's facing Emperor Palpatine with the same pose. On the bottom of the box we can see the minifigure included which is just one Yoda. <laughs> and on the top we can see it in scale, right there. On the back we can see a few of the features which are in the set, which are the swiveling of the head, moving of the eyes and it shows the um, size of the overall set which is 41 centimeters tall which is pretty good and yeah first I'll start with looking at the mini for the and stand so first we'll start with the mini figure he has a lightsaber hood which is shiny like they seem to have been doing lately maybe it just haven't got a lightsaber like that so long that it looks shiny, but I don't know. Um, he's got short legs to represent his size, nice back printing and back printing on the head, and nice printing on the front. One thing I don't like about it is this head. It's rubber. As you can see, I can bend the ears with no force, but the only thing I it's actually pretty good and pretty detailed, just it doesn't last as long, so I hear. That's pretty cool, and he just slots in the stand like that. And then on this panel here, we've got some information about him, of half of which is unknown, homeworld and species unknown, height, affiliation, apprentices and age. So you can pause and read that if you'd like to. This is pretty much my first, what I would call, UCS or this sort of scale set. So I've never had anything of this scale set before. So let's have a look at what the set actually looks like. So this is the completed set. It's used a snot technique to make it look like the studs, oh, so the studs are never on top. It's not stands for studs not on top, for those who didn't know. The lightsaber is really cool, it's just a really long Technic, white Technic cross going through to the lightsaber hook, which is also quite detailed. Everything on the set is really detailed, I'll rotate it and show you most of the features. The hands, if you want to see the lightsaber hook, I can just, this hand comes off and we can move the fingers on this one with a bit of stretching and take off the whole saber, which I'll do later, <laughs> just to show you what the hilt looks like. You've got the face, which is really detailed, and you can remove the eyes if you want, make them look angry, or whatever you feel like making them look. His ears are pretty cool too, and you can see where where it's connected and not connected. As you can see that gap is where the panel on the side starts and this one ends. The feet are pretty cool and they've got the whole feet in there. I thought they might just have the toes because that was the only thing sticking out but no they've got the whole thing. And yeah I'll just show you the back real quick and then I'll show you the lightsaber by itself. So on the back he's got all the grey hairs which, to be honest, they should have done grey rather than white, but it still works quite well. And the ropes come down and it's pretty much the same. Yeah, so now I'm going to show you the lightsaber by itself. So this is what the lightsaber looks like by itself. It's really detailed, as you can see. You've got the four black grips or whatever on the bottom. You've got the button there and the hilt and everything and it just connects to the hand by um, pressing in on these four studs and yeah 
overall it's really cool and yeah now I'm going to compare the actual size of the set to Kylo Ren Shuttle to show you what the scale looks like and finish up <laughs> so as you can see the Yoda set is pretty much the same size as Kylo Ren Shuttle it's pretty insane so I highly recommend the set especially because it's it was a lot cheaper than Kylo Ren Shadow as well. I reckon that's due to the exclusive minifigures in Kylo Ren Shadow and licensing for it. But yeah, overall I recommend the set. Even though it takes a while to warm up to, I'm pretty sure you'll come to like it. Because <laughs> at first I hated the set when the pictures were first released. But overall it's really cool. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you in the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, see ya.